Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to start creating a database here in Microsoft Access. So I'm starting with a blank database file, and I think for our demonstration here, uh, I'm going to stick with a, uh, a fishing lodge. Okay? And my fishing lodge, I'm going to start off super simple, and we're going to add to its complexity throughout the term. So first thing I want to do is I want to keep track of customers. And then the next thing I'll do is I'm going to keep track of, of various rooms that are available for rent. You know, so small lodge, maybe with a you know half a dozen cabins at the most, and people can stay in an individual custom cabin, or maybe they can stay in one of the rooms in the lodge house. Maybe there's a maybe there's four or five rooms in the main lodge house or something. So let's that'll be our plan of action. But we want to go super simple. The goal for this particular video is getting into creating tables within Access. Making sure we're still good with that uh, access uh, interface, and then start start to look at some of the options for setting fields. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, nice thing about access here is I just started this up by the way, and it wants me to save right away. I mean, with Word and Excel, you can be working for hours before you do your first save. So what I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse. I'm going to go to my desktop real quick. I'm going to create a new folder here, and I will go ahead and call this. Um, Access Spring 2013. That'll be my folder, and this is going to be my um, my Alaskan Fishing Lodge uh, database. I'll go ahead and call it uh, Alaska Legacy. Okay, so that's going to be the name of my fishing lodge, and I'll click OK, and now I can click Create. I'm over here in the lower right corner, and I'll just click Create. And tables are so important in Access, and in any database really, that it prompts me right away, it's, ti it's time to start creating a table. And it gives me datasheet view, I'm in datasheet view for my table right now, and I can start to prompt in, it's, it's even giving me a generic ID field, this would ultimately be the primary key, and I can start to create various uh, field data right now and of course I could click on these little column drop downs up here and I can choose what kind of data type it's going to be I can literally click on this there we go and it'll just show up for me or start to type in my data um, I'm not a big fan of creating my tables though in data sheet view so I'm gonna go on my home ribbon over here on the far left side I can click this button up in the top left corner and it's gonna allow me to toggle over to design view. It wants me to save my first table. This first table is going to be called customers. There we go. And now I'm in design view and I can jump back and forth between data sheet view and design view. Data sheet design. I like design view because now I have a I think a cleaner list of not only the field names and the data types but also the field properties down here in the lower portion. I'm going to start off, and instead of just regular ID, I'm going to call this uh, cust ID. I'm going to leave it as auto number, perfectly fine for our situation. Auto number means access will auto number them one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And I'm going to start to create a bunch of other fields here. I'm going to have my customer last name field, which I'm going to default to text. That's fine. Customer first name is going to be text. Cust address, text again, I know, it's a lot of text fields. Oops. And I'll do city, state, zip, phone, credit card, And I'll keep track of their expiration date. Yeah, it's not really. Let's not go overkill here. Okay, so so far all I have are text fields, and that's actually pretty reasonable. In this particular database, I'm going to keep track, or this particular table, I'm keeping track of customer information. And so far, text is the best deal. Even for things like zip code, you might think of a zip code as num as as a number field, but no. If you're not going to average it, if you're not going to calculate with it, then keep it as text. There's no reason I'd ever want to get the average zip code or the total zip code, so it's still a text field. Same thing for credit card numbers and phone numbers and stuff like that. Notice there's a few other field types though, and we'll get to these soon enough. 
Um, memo is if you want to type a whole bunch of information, and that might come into play here. Let's say I wanted to keep uh, customer notes. I'll do a memo field for that. Uh, this is where I could keep track. Remember, this is a this is a lodge. It's like a little hotel. I could keep track of notes of some of their preferences and things like that. So when they were coming back for a visit, you know, you get their favorite bottle of champagne, or if it's a fishing lodge, you know, you've got you know whatever kind of equipment they like to use available, um, stuff like that. So yeah, so a memo field is good when you want to be able to type in paragraphs of information. Of course, numbers, pretty self-explanatory, dates and times. That'll come in handy, especially later on when we want to keep track of when somebody is checking out versus checking in. Currency for dollar amounts. Certainly, if this was a uh, keeping track of a store, this might be good when we keep track of our rates, you know, our rental rates for the various lodge rooms. Auto number we're using up in our ID field. Yes, no, just what it sounds like. Does the room include linens? Yes or no? Um, does it have... Uh, a TV set. Maybe some of the lodge rooms have or do not have a television. You know, yes or no. Um, OLE object. We won't use that one too much, but that's for object linking and embedding, and that's so that you could have maybe some other file associated. Uh, let's say a music file or a video file or an image uh, with a particular field. Uh, but some of this is now. These are some newer ones down here, hyperlink, uh, just a link to an email address or something like that. An attachment is good, so this is where you could actually attach photos to a particular field. That might be kind of neat. And calculated, just what it sounds like. We're going to kind of accomplish this in a slightly different way, but yeah, calculated field is a field that's generated based on a calculation from other data. Um, for instance, a balance might be a good good one to have for something like that. And lookup wizard. So we're going to use a lot of these pretty soon. Um, just at the moment, though, text and memo are serving the purpose quite well. So let's go ahead and stop here, and we'll pick this up in, in a second part.